Hey everybody, it's Christopher Naiman. I'm back for some more tips on this Brother SE625. You don't want to miss this one. I got some good tips for you. Stay tuned. Don't go away. Welcome back everybody. Well, the first thing you'll notice is I got my extension table. And where did I get this extension table? Well, what I did was, I don't have any affiliate links as you all know. So as I always do, I do a Google search and I entered Brother SE 600, SE 625, SE 630 extension table. And Google brought up all these places that I could choose to get this extension table. Isn't that nice? So this is the one dedicated for the machine and they make some other, there's another brand out there, uh, So Steady I believe it is, that does a clear one. So all you got to do is Google and you'll find it. So that's one thing I want to talk about. Now let me zoom this in here and I want to talk about a couple other things, okay? Now, I wanted to get a walking foot for this machine. So I was looking online and I saw this walking foot and it came with this quilting bar. So I thought, okay, well I'm going to get it. Well, it's not a genuine brother walking foot for this machine. Now if you go to your instruction manual, your instruction manual will have a list of accessories. So I went there and let me show you what I'm talking about. So it has a list of accessories in your manual and it shows you the walking foot which is number three and number three says it's SA140. So my suggestion to you all, if you're not going to go to a local dealer to buy your supplies, to go to a, if, um, a site online that is uh, a genuine sewing machine dealer store, okay? Don't go to these China knockoff places that you see. So I was looking online and I saw this and it said it was an SA140. Well, I bought it. Well, the problem is it's not seven millimeter wide. This is not seven millimeter wide. And in the following photos that I'm going to put up, you'll see that the needle in the far left position hits the edge of the walking foot and in the far right position hits the right edge of the walking foot. So I wrote the company and I says, you know, you advertise that this is supposed to fit this machine. They didn't even argue with me. They just gave me a full refund. So I went online and I looked around and I found a genuine brother walking foot. And it says genuine brother and it's even got the brother logo on the side. So I'm waiting for that to come in. All right. In the meantime, I got this walking foot here. The company didn't even want it back. I mean, it's probably cost too much money to ship it back. So I do have a five millimeter um, low shank mechanical machine um, that I could use this for. So it won't go to waste for me. All right. But, here's a quilting bar that came with it. Now, on your presser foot, your standard presser foot here, you can see that there is a slot right here to put a quilting bar. And this quilting bar will fit. So we're going to put that quilting bar through here. Okay. What is that quilting bar good for? Ah, I'm glad you asked. Let me set up the camera here, and I will show you what that quilting bar is good for. Seam allowance. So you can get straight seams, right? All right, so the way you want to measure, let's say I want a, a half inch seam allowance, okay? So you're gonna put your needle down so you know where the needle is right there. And you're gonna measure this over so you're gonna have an exact half inch seam allowance. You see that? So when I go to sew, you get a piece of fabric here. When I go to sew, you put your fabric right up against that seam allowance. And then let's test that. And I get my little mesh. Oh, what happened to my thread? What happened to my thread? Does that ever happen to you? This is a good troubleshooting technique. So what you do is you take your bobbin thread out. You re-thread it. Check your upper thread path. Make sure it's threaded properly. All right, that shouldn't be a problem. Let's try this again. And it's not sewing. Well, you know why? Look at the thread came out of the needle. 
You see that? All these little things. You're like, okay, I gotta troubleshoot everything. Thread came out of the needle. So let me lower that needle, make sure it's in there. Okay, good. Needle up, needle down. This is how you troubleshoot, everybody. Okay? This is how you troubleshoot. Never say that stupid machine, say, what did I do wrong? That's what you gotta say. You gotta say, what did I do wrong? Okay, that's how you have to approach it. Because most of the errors are operator errors. Okay, so that's a half inch seam allowance from the middle of the needle, because the needle's in the middle position. So from the middle there out to the quilting bar, which I'm calling a seam, using as a seam allowance, half inch. So now I'm gonna sew. There we go. Cut the thread, pull it out, and let's see. There it is, perfect half inch seam allowance. See that? Perfect half inch seam allowance. Okay, so now you can use a quilting bar that comes with your walking foot when you order it as a seam allowance. Isn't that great? So that's a couple tips I want to show you, but make sure you buy an authentic walking foot. Now some of you may be buying these presser feet from China. They come like in this, they come in like this, kit like 50 presser feet 40 presser feet 20 presser feet and but the problem is guys those presser feet let me show you let me explain some to you this foot is a seven millimeter wide this machine sews a seven millimeter wide stitch so when you're doing a zigzag or a satin stitch or a decorative stitch it's a seven millimeter wide distance here a lot of those presser feet that the people are buying that you know they come so like 40 of them for 20 bucks they're only a five millimeter some are even four millimeter so you got to be really really careful because when you try to use that you could bust a needle because it's your machine will sew wider than the width of the foot the feet that you're buying from that china knockoff places the china's knocking off you got to be careful and they don't tell you they don't tell you. So my suggestion to you is to buy author, you know, authentic accessory presser feet. Okay? Find, if you don't have a dealer near you, find a sewing machine dealer online that sells machines in their stores. And they'll have a website. Any progressive sewing machine store that sells Brother or Baby Luck, because this takes Baby Luck. Baby Luck and Brother... They're midline machines. Any of the baby lock machines that are um, computerized that do embroidery were made by Brother. They're made by Brother. The mechanical machines that baby lock has are made by Janome. So if you have a mechanical Janome, if you have mechanical baby lock, you want Janome feet. If you have a mechanical brother, you definitely want to make sure you have brother feet, okay? But always, always check the distance here because you could damage your machine and the bobbin case because you're putting a foot in that's not designed for your machine. So be careful of those great deals out there. For instance, this. The first thing I did when I got this, I checked the width. And I'm like, oh, this isn't working. This is not working. That width is not a 7 millimeter wide width. So I went back up online and I found an authentic walking foot that has the Brother logo on it. So I'm waiting for that to come in and I'm going to make sure it's a 7 millimeter wide zig uh, space in there. So these are the little things you have to look for when you're buying accessories for your machine. Okay? So now I hope these little tips help you a lot. I know they helped me when I was learning and people would share them with me. And this little seam guide is wonderful. You could pick this up at places like, you know, like Walmart or whatever, or, or any Joann's, any place that sells accessories for sewing. It's a great, great little notion here. All right. So I just want to show you this, and it really helps when you're sewing. All right, guys. I hope you're enjoying your machine as much as I am. This is the Brother SE 625, and the same chassis as the SE 630, SE uh, SE uh, 620. They're all the same chassis, and then they, they go by LB something that they sell at the dealers and the stores. So just, um, you know, keep your eyes out for everything and be aware of what you're buying so you know.
because this stuff is very important to understand and as I just pointed out very important to understand the width of the foot because if you go and do a decorative stitch on one of those generic feet that you're buying and you forget that it's it's not set for a, a, short, a, a shorter width that needle's going to hit the side of that it's going to jam down you know you're going to all kinds of issues most operator issues are caused by the most machine problems are caused by operator error and you just have to take your time don't be in a hurry now even veteran sewers like myself okay like you just saw earlier I demonstrated oh, what's wrong why isn't the thread threading well look it was out of the needle but I re-threaded this and everything just to check that's what you have to do and you hear so many people saying, well, my stupid machine or my machine don't like this thread. My machine don't like that thread. And you know it's not that your machine doesn't like it. It's just that you don't know how to, you know, set it up for it. And when you learn these setups and you learn everything, you'll have flawless sewing because these machines are fabulous. I did check the price. They raised this price back to full price again of this machine. So if you miss this deal, if you miss this amazing deal, right now it's back up to full price at Walmart. So um, if you missed it, you are SOL, sorry, just keep checking. Maybe they'll lower the price again. They go up and down, up and down, up and down, so you have to check every day. But uh, yeah, so anyway, hope that helps you guys. To my next video when I find something else to share with you that can help you, have a wonderful time sewing and, and just take care of your machine and it will take care of you. Talk to you soon, bye now.